Hey guys, Rock and Play here. Um, just getting my thoughts on the whole Konami situation on Kojima, the creator of Metal Gear, and along with other great classics, um, is leaving Konami. First of all, I'd like to say that I'm very sad that he's leaving, and you know, I, the good th the good news is that he's still gonna finish Metal Gear Solid Five. But once Phantom Pain, Metal Gear Solid Five Phantom Pain comes out, that will be his last game, and I'm very sad and I'm and bad and I'm that he's leaving and stuff and. In my opinion, I don't think um, any Metal Gear game after that's going to succeed. Because, you know, unlike games like Halo or Call of Duty, say what you will, I mean, it has a crowd and has a, has a following, but it, take, it takes a team to make those kind of games. A team. Where with Metal Gear, it, he's mainly the one that was um, the, the mind behind everything. He was the reason why Metal Gear is one, you know, from PlayStation to the PlayStation 3. Games were successful. Why Metal Gear Solid One, Two, Three, and Four, and Peace Walker, and and um, and all those were successful because he had a hand in it. All of them. I think the only ones he didn't have a hand in was the um, the NES ones. We kind of butchered that, but that's a long story for another time. But the point is, he's, every Metal Gear game that came out, for the most part, he had a hand in. And for that, and and, and the fact that Konami is going to continue it. Without him, seems impossible. Heck, there are that, in, in my opinion, is maybe that. This is my opinion why I think he left. Maybe because Metal Gear Solid Five was be his last one, and he can't think of anything more of how to. He can't think of anything to continue the series, and Konami won probably like forcing him to continue, but he couldn't think of anything else of how to continue it. So he just um. It's like, I guess he just wanted to leave. Or maybe because they want to put him on gaming sims. Because according to um, Pat Dianius, um Punk podcast, I heard that um, the reason why the creator of Castlevania left, because they want him, they want to put him to do dating sims for like two years. Even though the last three Castlevania games, despite the last two's reviews, were successful in sales. And it bothered me. It's like, okay, it doesn't make any sense. Why would you... I have a guy who's made back to back to back successful selling games to have him do something so I guess what's the word? I guess um stupid I guess because that's like having um Gabe Newell who's who probably who did the first two Half Life who's known for Steam in general and and Valve in general had him do the first two Half Life two the Half Life games one and two, then he's he's great. He wants to do three, but they're like, no, we want you to do some like dating sim app on hotter like who's hot or not or whatever. And of course, he doesn't want to do something like that. He wants to do something that makes that he has passion in and loves and cares for. Yeah, I guess that's again, again, it's all speculation. We don't know why he left, but we know. I think eventually it will get leaked because we're in an age where nothing's a secret anymore. So. I think maybe not now, but probably eventually we will. We just probably just gotta wait and see. But as I said, will Metal Gear do well? Is Metal Gear in, in like the title of my video? Is Konami in trouble? In my opinion, yeah, because they're letting him. You know, the only thing that the only golden goose that or geese, whatever it's called, uh, how they say it, that they have is left, and they wanted to do, and they want to like, they're letting him go, then. I think that's a bad idea, in my opinion. I mean, also the creator of Castlevania, which that's a huge blow, and now him. I don't. I don't see Cap Capcom. Um, Konami thriving. Heck, Capcom lost the creator of Resident Evil and the creator of Mega Man, and they um. Now they're doing their own things, like even when it's done really well, and of course you all know how my number nine did. It was like the most successful. Like any game I've ever seen, I mean, it it, it like destroy all his stretch goals, and that's all. And that's a lot. When I saw that, that's a lot. That's, that's like, I think it was like four two, four point two million, in total in terms of all stretch goals that was passed. That's so that was the see like Capcom. That was four million dollars you could have had in your pocket. Too bad. Now it's going to all to him, and his team. You guys are stupid. I tell you what, you guys are stupid. Just, you know I mean? Casting, casting two Mega Man games like that? Of course he's going to leave. Come on, Capcom, what are you doing? Uh, Capcom, I mean, that's another company that I love to death. 
and they make a lot of just stupid decisions. I mean, not as bad as Konami, because, like, I mean, they've been controversial, but I don't know what's going on, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Tell me how you got into Kojima's games. To me, in my opinion, I mean, not my opinion, but, like, how I got into Kojima's games was, um, I used to live in Kissimmee, and, um, my, my neighbor had, um, Metal Gear on PlayStation, and the, the title, the, the, the game cover alone, it just intrigued me, and then when I played it, it blew my mind. I love, cause I'm so used to, like, Mario and Zelda games, and just, just, I mean, with no dialogue, just, just straight up have fun. But, with, um, it was like watching a movie and playing a movie, like, it was well acted, granted kind of the graphics weren't all there, especially with the fish face, the face, um, visuals, but I heard it was an inside joke with Kojima, but I'm not sure what it is. Tell me in the comments below what you think it is, or if you know what it is, but everything else was fantastic, and this is an example of a game that doesn't have great graphics, but amazing gameplay, and way ahead of its time. Of course, that Psycho Mantis part, so you had to play Castlevania, I'm like, what the hell? I was, like, scared. He was running all my stuff, I had, like, um, Crash Bandicoot War, I think. I think he read that one, or I could be wrong, that's, that's, that's probably, I think that's one you could read, I'm not sure, but, oh, he was reading my memory card, made my controller vibrate, I was like, what the hell is this, and I, I didn't know what to do, but luckily my friend told, my neighbor told me, he, because he used to be in the game before, switched to the second controller port, and I beat him, and, um, it did, that just blew my mind, that's one, like, one game moment I will never forget, and he came up with all that stuff, him, Kojima, Kojima. So, for them to be like, oh, we're going to do it without him, it seems impossible, in my opinion. Because he, he makes all that incredible Metal Gear magic. And without him, I don't think it's going to survive. Same thing with Castlevania. And, you know, that's just my opinion on it. Tell so me what you guys think in the comments below. You think they can do it with him? Do it with him? I mean, do you think they can do it without him? Or do you think they can do it with him? So what do you guys think? What about Castlevania? Will it be the same, same thing? Will can they do it with him or without with without or with, or without him, or with Mega Man or or with Mega Man that matter? So what do you guys think? In my opinion, Konami's in trouble. Konami's in trouble. If they don't shape up, they could be going out of business. Do one of them going out of business? No, I mean, I mean, they have a lot of, a lot of great little IPs, but they're not u utilizing it. They could do so, so much better. But as I said, that's just my two cents on the matter, folks. Um, oh, and the whole Silent Hills thing goes. Um, this is a rumor. I'm not sure if it's confirmed or not. But there's a rumor that he is, um, that he not be, he's going to continue the game without him. They're going to work with Del Toro, but he, Kojima's not going to be involved in that game, which a lot of people were, like, super, super pumped for this game, for whatever. I, I haven't played, I haven't seen her played the, um, the, the, the game slash trailer, I haven't seen it, I haven't seen it, though I'll probably look it up soon to see what it's like, but I've heard nothing but positive things, and Kojima was behind it, um, and the guy who played Daryl, I could be wrong, from Walking Dead, was, was doing motion cap to be the main character in that game, I hope I'm saying his name right, but, now I'm hearing that he's, I'm gonna be involved, I don't know if sure gonna do as well, and, or, if people are being interested in, as interested as before, you know what I'm saying? Even I was like, even I was like, oh, I might, I'm not doing no Silent Hills, Silent Hills, but maybe I can get, I'll, I'll look into it and give it a try. But since he's not gonna be involved with it anymore, that interest is long gone. Unless they prove me wrong, I don't really see myself picking that game up or anybody else for that matter. But then again, that's just my opinion, folks. Tell me what you guys think. This is Rocket Blade signing out. Hope to see you guys again real soon.